Hello, and welcome back to day 27 of 31 Days of Craft Halloween, where we make an altered book Halloween junk journal. As usual, we will start with our mystery opening. We are opening Universal Monsters items. Let's see what we get today. Oh, this is like a little bag clip or zipper pull thing with a mummy on it. These Universal Monsters things aren't nearly as fun as the Nightmare Before Christmas mini Funkos that we've been opening every day, but we ran out of those, so <laughs> we're using these to get through, and they're fine. They're, I, I mean, they're kind of fun. Maybe it, it'll make me think of using a mummy, or maybe it won't. I don't know. Anyway, let's get on to our uh, journaling for the day. As I mentioned in my last video, there um, we've reached the point where I'm kind of not finding the prompts list that I made at the beginning very useful. So I'm hoping to try something else. Um, yesterday we included purple. That's going to be the last time we include any colors. Everything is going to be black and white from here on out as we've been doing on most of the spreads during this journal. I do have um, an idea for something to do today. And unfortunately, I didn't grab the supplies I needed before I sat down to start talking to you. So I will go get supplies and then we'll get started. Okay, so my idea for today is to do a lot of pockets with tags in them. I have these two papers that I picked out to be the background. And then I run this through my die cut machine. I'm not able to get it under the camera, so I thought I might as well just do it before um, coming back to filming. So these will be placed on the pages as well. And then we can make tags or journaling cards or things to fill up these pockets. Now that I'm looking at it though, I'm not sure that I'm crazy about this piece. Um, is there another one in this pack? We're almost out of papers in this pack. That one could be interesting. Ooh, maybe not. Mm, maybe. No. Maybe. Ooh, I like that one the best. Okay, let's do this one. We'll use these papers another day for something else. I have made some bases. I also have some of these little black tags that were pre-made. And I'm going to go ahead and ink around these. Um, two of them, I have already cut the tops so that they are in tag shape. The other ones are just rectangles. I may change that as I work on decorating. We'll see. So for these larger tags, I want to keep them relatively flat because they are going to be um, all the way into the pocket and I, I don't need a whole lot of bulk there. I do have a couple of things that I've been wanting to decorate with that are flat items, so we'll start playing with those a little bit.
Okay, here we are. As I completed each tag, I just placed them inside. And uh, if you can't tell, I was trying to go for a little bit of symmetry, not exact, but um, we've got, you know, like the black accents here and the stitched around tags here and so on. So I think this is really cute. I am excited to discover what I'm going to do tomorrow because you never know. So please come back and join me for day 28. And in the meantime, have a wonderful, magical and spooky day. Happy crafting. Adios.